So, you arranged to meet Mr. Galati at your house on the 8th of August, am I? Yeah. And what was the meeting about? Renvid has a lot of business interests in Mumbai. Too many, to be honest. And he'd offered to let me manage one of the contracts that he was struggling to fulfil. And what time did Mr. Galati arrive? I don't know exactly. Um, good afternoon. And did his son arrive with him? No, he came later. Maybe half an hour before his father left. And when was that? I'm um, not sure, about 7.30, maybe 8. It's a long meeting. We had a lot to talk about. I cooked. We ate together. And did anything happen in that meeting that you might find relevant? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, you knew him well. Did he seem relaxed, apprehensive? He seemed relaxed, yeah. He didn't say or do anything that was out of character? No. Mrs. Panasar, it's important that you tell us anything that seemed off. Any insight that you can give us into his state of mind? He seemed fine. But then again, I'm not completely sure. I'd know if he wasn't. Renvir was always good-humoured, professional, courteous that day and every day. You're aware Mr. Galati was in Mumbai from the day of your meeting to the day you became aware his body had been discovered. But you only just got back from there yourself. You didn't try to contact him? Well, there was no need. Our business had been completed. And you got back from Mumbai, what, last week? By this point, Mr. Galati had been missing for nearly three months. No one knew he was missing. It wasn't unusual for Renvir to go to India for months on end. Without any contact? Well, not with me. Well, presumably in touch with someone. His wife? <laughs> I don't really know. They recently got married, hadn't they? Big age gap. I expect there was some kind of reaction from friends and family. I don't really know what you want me to say. Yes, there was a very big age gap. But they were happy together. No one really knows the truth of what goes on inside a marriage, do they? But as far as I could tell, Renvir was completely devoted. 